Chris, I like to talk to some of my philosopher friends about mm -hmm. the nature of the human mind, and they know a little bit of neuroscience, so they come up with that. How do you translate this, the, the, the biology of the brain into mental states? And the philosophy of mind is a vast area of untold number of books and people who are focused on that. Um, I really like to take a different perspective uh, and, and look at uh, a brain system that you've uh, been a leader in, in, in addiction, because addiction is a mental state. That's right. And you're focusing on the, the, the brain substrate. And so if we put away the philosophy for a moment and look at one system where brain mechanisms create a mental state, what kind of progress can we make? We can, we can understand this mental state based on changes, adaptations, which happen with the drug in, in, in the brain circuitry. And lots of things, we, 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 you know, again, it's, it's a lot of the results so far. Uh, it's difficult to be causative for the, for the state because the mental state could is probably a result of lots of different changes which which are aggregated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we know that that the, the that a lot of changes parallel the state but or well, adaptations of the brain parallel the state but whether they're causative for the state is very difficult very difficult question to answer well at least we can do to correlation we We're, can do the correlation okay so what are some correlations between mental states and, and, uh, and brain states? Well, um, you can, with, in, in, in the addiction case, in the case of addiction, there's um, lots of changes in the, the spines in the uh, striatum. So the spines being the these connections, these connections on, on neurons that receive information. information. Yeah, they receive information. So the, the basically changes in the strength of the synapses between neuronal populations. These can correlate in, we, we, we know certain areas of the brain are involved in goal-directed learning mm -hmm. and habit, okay? So, you know, when you ride a bi bicycle, when you first ride a bicycle, you, you, you have this goal-directed behavior, you're conscious of everything you're doing on the bicycle, and then, and then it becomes an almost a habit right. and, and different right. parts of the brain, mm. different parts of the striatum, different parts of the cortex are involved in those habits and they are in the goal-directed behaviors. And what you can, what you can find, um, some beautiful experiments with uh, methamphetamine have shown there's, there's changes which go from the goal-directed part of the brain to the habit part of the brain where oh. it gets stronger. Oh. So you can, you can see these adaptations happening in in the circuits in the brain so so specifically what what happens when you go from goal direction uh to uh habit forming well w w when you're doing a, a, a goal directed task certain areas of the stratum um are active mm. and they are involved in that learning process if you learn it and learn it and learn it it goes to a different area of the stratum and 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 different areas of the cortex start getting involved in mm. that learning behavior. So you, you, you basically change, you swap parts of the brain where that behavior is then encoded. It becomes an automatic behavior. And this is how we see, or how we think, a lot, of, a, a lot of changes happen with drugs of abuse. They switch from this sort of goal-directed behavior to almost a habit behavior where you maybe see the um, you, 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 you see the pub on the side of the road and yeah. Yeah. you're there, yeah, it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a habit. It mm. becomes a habit. You see the cues for the, for the drug and you're there, you're, you, you, you have the craving and you're there. And, and you can literally see the difference in the brain in, in, in this the brain process. structures. Yes. Yeah. So, um, these brain states, these mental states, we have some brain correlates for. Yeah. And, uh, now, now, how do you go from that? It's a good example. How do you go from that to, to causation? Uh, to, to say that, the, um, that the, with the, when the brain state becomes habitual, 
that that is caused by that change in the brain? Well, these have mostly been animal experiments where they do the lesions and then they can find that the learning process is disrupted in some areas where they've, where they've caused lesions in the brain uh, when they're learning the uh, behavior and some when they've, when they've gone to the habit and, and the lesions would be in a different place. If they interrupt the learning of it, it might be in one place. And, and if they interrupt the, the habit, it would be in another place. In another place so yes. the one where they've, they've extirpated the, the part for the habit, the animal would lose the habit, but it would still be able to learn a new one. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, right. But it, but it would never it would never pass out of the goal direction. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah. So, so that's that, 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 that that's one example. Yeah. So that that shows uh, beginning to show strong correlations between brain states and mental states. What are some other mental states in which the the brain state is so uh, obviously and so strongly uh, associated? In neurodegeneration. Um, with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, I think there's a, there's, you know, you, you, you have brain states, uh, sorry, mental states, which are clearly associated with disruption of, of neuronal pathways, specific neuro, neuronal pathways in the brain. Uh, I mean, that, that's very, very clear. So I, I, I think... And the degeneration is very specific or is it broadly general? Well, in Parkinson's, it's quite specific right, right. it has a specific co course and so is in Huntington's it has a specific course and the mental state is clearly correlated with the with the brain state mm. there's no two ways about it I I, I, I see that as a fairly clear correlation in, 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 in most areas the correlation being so strong in those cases you'd be willing to sort of move move out on the limb of, of the, the cause and effect as yes, opposed to yeah, pure yeah, yeah, correlation. Yes, 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 definitely, <laughs> definitely. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I think it's clear that, you know, most mental states you can, you could explain by, you know, by, by changes in brain structures and brain function. And this you can see very clearly with imaging. Um, and, and, you know, it's uh, craving is a very good example where you can see activation of very specific areas with, with craving. And well, what are the, examples, specific examples? In area? the amygdala. And mm. Emotional is involved in emotional memories. And, and, um, cravings very, for what? Cravings for, for drugs. Oh. You, you can take um, addicted people addicted to cocaine, show them all the cues, you know, the white powder, and areas of the brain, specific areas of the brain light up beautifully mm. the amygdala and some of the areas of the frontal cortex mm. light up beautifully you can take somebody who smokes like a chimney and uh disrupt part of their insular co cortex you know and they'll completely lose their their uh, uh wants and reward for for, for, for nicotine it completely stops how, how do you do that you well, that? these are usually accidents, which are... Oh, oh I so, see, I see, I see. I see. So that there's, there's or, or, or some kind of strokes. Or, oh, I see. Or, but yeah. that, that retrospectively lets you see that the, the specific relationship between, between brain state and, and mental state. Right. There's, and and, and the, the, the imaging has, has actually told us a lot. There was a, there's a, a very good example of somebody losing their, their, their addiction to multiple drugs, total, you know... There was this guy was um, addicted since he was 12 years old, smoking weed to, to every drug you can imagine. And then you know, he sort of had an overdose with methadone, which blew out his uh, bilaterally his, his globus uh, pallidus mm. and completely didn't want to touch a drug again. Mm. Mental states are definitely, I mean, yeah. it's, it's clear to me that mental states are correlated with, with uh, brain states and, and what happens in different areas of the brain. There's no two ways about that. There is, I, 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 I don't see a, a special <laughs> relationship there. I, I, just, I, I just see this as a biological phenomenon.